In this video, we take a look at the linear search algorithm. We will trace through the algorithm with a step-by-step -step example so you can see how it works. Take your time and pause the video when needed. Once you've mastered the algorithms in this section, take a look at SLR 8, Classification of Algorithms, which will go over big O notation. This notation is a way of expressing the time complexity of algorithms. The time complexity of the linear search algorithm is O N. Now let's look at the pseudocode for a linear search. Pause the video and work through this code carefully in your head. Make sure you understand what each line is doing. Try copying each line down as you work through the algorithm. This step is very important, don't skip it. Once you're happy with the basics of the algorithm, unpause the video. Let's work through the algorithm now using a simple set of data. Follow along, pause the video if you need to, and make sure you understand what is happening to the data set at each stage and why. Here's our original data set, B, G, E, C, A, F and D, and we're going to be looking for A. We start at the first location. We discover what we're after is not in the first location, so we move to the next. And then the next. And then the next. And then the next. Here we discover the item we are after, in this case A, and therefore we stop the linear search. Remember, to really master this algorithm you should try working through it again with a different set of data, but also try coding it in a programming language of your choice. Once you've achieved this, you should be able to tackle all questions relating to this algorithm in the exam.